Yeah. Duly noted, 11-15-2015. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. Uh, I'm here to tell you about a correction that you can give to improve mid-back extension and also to prevent shoulder hacking. I find a lot of people have a ton of trouble activating latissimus dorsi because they lack mid-back extension and they also try to excessively hike the shoulder. The way you can improve upon this is an oblique sit position or even the get up position at the uh, palm prop. So by palm propping what I mean is you actually take the hand and you actually corkscrew it into the ground and you push the weight away from the palm. This is something the baby does during neural developmental progression to, to make sure they can stabilize themselves. Uh, babies aren't very strong but they're always seeking stability and they don't have cognition in their way. They look for reflexive stability. So they go for reflex points. A great one is the palm. So as you get the palm, uh, called the thanar eminence, thanar for thumb side, and the hypothanar eminence, as you start to push your weight away from that, it actually activates a lot of the muscles that are around the shoulder girdle for reflexive stability for the shoulder. So when you're trying to prevent a lot of neck activation, like for levator scapula, which attaches to the neck, and you're also trying to improve mid-back extension, you can really, really help to stabilize the shoulder and also stabilize the neck with a basic palm prop. You can either do this in an oblique sit position or a get-up position. For a get-up position, what it would look like is this position here. So this leg is straight, pushing the heel away from the body. This leg is bent. This way you can use the opposite gluteus maximus as well as the lat to support the shoulder girdle. And you can see how I'm not letting myself shrug, but I'm actually pushing myself actively away from my palm. You can see how that corkscrewing action really helps. You're basically taking the cubital fossa or the crease of the elbow and turning it outwards. What that does is it helps to externally rotate the humerus and help you push your weight away. You can hang out in this position or you can choose to do an oblique sit if that's too uncomfortable. Um, the oblique sit will be where the femur uh, is bent here and the knee is also bent. So you're actually pushing into an oblique sit position. This arm can be raised or this arm can help to support, but you're basically trying to corkscrew that hand into the floor and push your weight away. If you watch a baby do this, it's pretty fascinating. They're constantly using their palms to help push. And they very rarely hike or lose the extension that they earn. One of the big tips for oblique sit uh, for the palm prop is to make sure you have a chest up ribs down position. So if your chest is up but your ribs are flaring, you're actually gonna go into your low back and cause some exacerbation of low back pain. Uh, it also doesn't really turn on the lat quite as well as when you pull the ribs down. The reason why that gets your lats on is that a ribs down position activates the abdomen and a lot of these muscles attach to the big diamond in your back called the thoracolumbar aponeurosis. The lat attaches to that as well as the opposite glute. So try this oblique sit with a basic palm prop. I'm telling you, if you just hang out in a palm prop position, you can turn on those lats like nobody's business, and you can relax the neck a bit while you're earning more of this mid-back extension that protects the shoulder. Give this a shot. It's pretty simple. Have a good day, and if you have any questions, email me at drkathydooley at gmail.com. Thanks.